Hello everybody. So I wanted to show you the kind of ship I wanted to build with my wedge reactors. This is the why I released them, because I wanted to use them. This is a heavy trading and hotels vehicle. It goes out to the distances of deep space to trade with whatever miners or homesteaders are out there. It assembles whatever needs to be assembled and refines whatever needs to be refined. And it also offers accommodations, because a lot of these people are not going to uh, have good accommodations and it'll be like a vacation for them. And of course, people who want to travel between those remote places can also use these accommodations. Those were the berths, but this is the actual, you know, hotel beds. Significantly more expensive to reserve a room than just a bunk. So there are six rooms, and there are 16 bunks. And they're down at the end of these really long arms. This is the main area. It's got some entertainments, some foods, some lounge spaces. Up here you've got more lounge with a great view of the sky. And over here you've got a workout station with a great view of the sky. If you go down here, you can see the dock and you can also see the restricted access area. Let's just take a quick peek at the dock. I've made this um, this is actually a quarantine safe airlock and there are eight internal docking bays. The lights turn on, turn on automatically when a ship approaches. Let's go down into engineering. This is why I built the ship after all. I wanted to build a good reactor. So here it is. You can actually get a glimpse of it above from above. So this, these are my wedge reactors. I've stacked up a bunch of them on this side and a bunch on the other side, and they provide all the power this heavy ship needs. And it really hauls ass. I think that these engines might be wrong, the engines I'm using. They're a new mod, and I don't think they've been power balanced correctly. This is where the crew stays, staring out uncomfortably close to the reactor. Here's their bathroom. I actually really like this bathroom design, but I think I may actually produce a bathroom mod. Um, right now we really only have the choice of this toilet and that shower. Um, the shower is okay, but the toilet, I mean, the, the, the actual model for the toilet is great, but it needs to have uh, fully integrated systems in order to fit within this two and a half meter cube. So I'm thinking maybe I'll create a toilet that looks a lot like this toilet and uh, have variants that have, you know, toilet paper or an built-in sink or uh, partitions, that sort of stuff. There's, an, ex there's a, uh, an exit back here, which actually leads out into these engineering areas. So you can get back there uh, with, your, with your little welder and try and weld them, but I don't really recommend it. The crew has their own entertainment area, but they will go upstairs if they require anything more than just a TV and a snack. There are, there are a couple of unusual exits. There is this one which leads out into the depths of the engine, between the two engines, so you can access all of the gyros, well, some of the gyros. And there's this one, which actually goes upstairs. Yep. But we're not gonna go upstairs. Yep. Instead, we're gonna go fly this thing. Room for seven cryopods and a hospital bed. This has uh, three AI cores and they have actual code running on them. I've got M Master's AI core, I've got Freya to keep, take care of my energy and oxygen, and I've got Tyr to draw me some pi pretty pictures and keep track of what's broken. This place has a couple of things like beds and stuff, but that's just for flavor's sake. So this is what the ship looks like from the outside, and you can see that down below there is a clear glass um, glass openings into the reactor core. This is not really built for combat, and two layers of glass is just as safe as one layer of soft armor, so I figured why not make it look cool? And uh, this is the above side. And what does it look like when we accelerate? So it's important to realize that this thing hauls quite a lot of ass. This 
is why I think that those engines, these long engines here, are probably too cheap. Um, or maybe they're just too light. But, I mean, I, I strapped on a bunch of them and I'm moving like a fighter. Well, a kind of ungainly fighter. So this is the sort of ship I wanted to build, and so I went ahead and built it. And I really enjoyed doing it. It was a great, relaxing Sunday. Um, just goofing off. I don't think that I'll be sharing this ship. Um, I could share the world and you could download it, but I released the mod and it got 5,000 subscribers. Um, I've also released some ships, and I think the one that has the most subscribers is 5. So it's pretty clear that nobody cares about ships, uh, unless you do something with, you know, maybe a YouTube personality that comes over and views them. Uh, but it's pretty clear that mods are what people care about and ships are just for kicks. So I'm not going to share this, not unless there is some surprising outcry for uh, getting it shared, and I don't think there will be. Man, that was fun. The paint job needs some work, though. <laughs>